How many times has this happened to you? A friend of yours asks if you can do some kind of favor and you really don't want to do it, but you say, okay, sure, and you kind of hem and haw about it for a little bit and walk around saying, how the fuck did I tell this guy that I was gonna do this stupid thing? Well, that's pretty much what it's like to make quinoa. And uh, what I'd like to do is just show you a couple of basic tips to make the best quinoa that you can. And hopefully this is gonna take some of that headache away. first thing you need to know before any quinoa endeavor is that you always want to drain and rinse your quinoa uh, before you cook it. So I've got a medium sized uh, drainer here. I'm just going to scoop it into here and then we'll pour the water through the holes. I've got three different varieties of quinoa here. So each one has its own unique kind of um, um, I think I probably uh, I'm going to use a smaller um, size. Let's see. I've got a smaller one here. So again, yeah, we're just putting our quinoa into this drainer. What the f Okay. Um, now we're gonna pour our water in and we're gonna get it nice and clean. And this is how we rinse it. Now we're ready to cook it. Okay, so I'm just gonna add our quinoa. And we're just gonna stir it up for about 10 minutes until it softens. A lot of people call quinoa quinoa and it was originally harvested by the Incas over 3,000 years ago. But then in 1532, when the Spanish invasion happened, the conquistadors made it against the law. And a lot of people moved to Florida so that they could start growing it illegally. But then in 2013, Congress passed a law that repealed the prohibition of quinoa. And it became a staple food in places like Santa Monica, California, where Wealthy people noticed that the wheat that they were eating was giving them diarrhea. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, so let's just put this through the strainer. Just shake all the water out. So I like to eat it plain, but quinoa is very versatile if you want to add steamed vegetables, tofu, cranberries, nuts, basil, cilantro, parsley, butter, ghee, amino acids, plum vinegar, arugula, mushroom. Oh hi, and thanks for joining us here on the Henry's Kitchen Masterclass. I wanna remind you that every Monday we're gonna be uploading some really great recipes. So if you want, please uh, subscribe to the uh, Thrillist YouTube channel and that way you're gonna get notified of all of them.